When the crew of NASA's Orion spacecraft splash down in the Pacific Ocean next year after circling the moon, it will be San Diego Navy crews recovering the spacecraft and the astronauts inside. It will be the second flight of NASA's new Artemis program and the first to carry astronauts. Although it won't land there just yet, it will also be the first time humans have been to the moon since the final Apollo mission in 1972. So the Artemis mission is all about going back to the moon and staying on the moon. NASA's Lily Villarreal is the landing and recovery director for the Artemis II mission. It's her job to help coordinate with both the Navy and the Air Force in recovering Orion and its crew. We are Over the last week, NASA officials tested the recovery process from the San Diego-based amphibious transport dock John P. Murtha. Coronado-based Navy divers with expertise in decompression practiced recovering Orion's crew with sailors subbing in for the astronauts who have yet to train for recovery. NASA couldn't do this without the partnership of the DOD. We just definitely don't have the assets, the capability, and the global reach that the Navy and the DOD helps us with. Senior Chief Ryan Kreider is the Command Master Diver for EOD Expeditionary Support Unit 1 in Coronado. His sailors are training alongside air crews from a North Island helicopter squadron for next year's recovery mission. So we handle everything on the open water. EOD sailors will make contact with the capsule after splashdown, assess the astronauts, and help guide them to a helicopter to transport back to a ship. The capsule itself will be recovered by one of the several amphibious transport docks based in San Diego. We know how to handle uh, a lot of uh, unpredictable situations, and we know how to handle them with calm and ease. Artemis II will circle the moon in 2024. Then, with Artemis III in 2025, NASA plans to land astronauts on the moon for the first time in more than half a century. Andrew Dyer, KPBS News.